Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Desktop Museum channel. In today's video, we're going to show you The Brickman by Jason Freeney. Jason Freeney is an American artist who is most well known for his anatomical toys. Often what he does is that he takes popular characters and turns them into really awesome looking anatomical figures. He has worked with a lot of the most recognizable characters in the world, including a lot of Disney characters, American cartoon characters, and even Japanese anime characters. I encourage everybody to check out Jason's website below. He has such a diverse body of work that I'm sure you can find something that interests you. Now onto the Brickman. There are two versions of this that were released. One is a large figure and one is a small figure. I have the small one and there are some really big differences between the large one and the small one that I'm going to talk about in the video. The Brickman comes in a plastic box and it's a pretty nice looking box. It shows everything really well. I might just end up displaying mine in the box. The bottom contains some information about the figure and this one is made in China. We're just going to take it out of the box and out of the blister pack. And here's a closer look at the figure. You can make out some of the details including the stomach, the liver, the intestines. But unfortunately, there are no details behind the ribcage. And here's how the figure looks from the back. Now this brings me to the biggest difference between the smaller size figure and the large size figure. In the large figure, the individual organs are separate pieces. And like a puzzle, you can take them out and put them back together. It also has more details including separate pieces for the heart, the brain, and other organs that you will not be able to see on the smaller figure. It also comes in a different box. So even though the large one and the small one look pretty much identical from a distance, the large one definitely has more details and more play value. Onto the articulation, the right arm can move, and the left arm can move. The right fist cannot move, but the left fist can move. There are no articulation on the legs, and no articulation on the head. So there's really not much that you can do with this, and the display options are pretty limited. But even though all the internal organs are just one piece, you can still open this up, so I'm going to show you that. The front and the back of the figure are just packed together, and they can easily be taken apart. We'll start from the legs and move to the body. It just opens like that, and here goes the arm. The clear side is just two pieces of plastic for the body and two pieces for the arm. And as you can see here, the internal structure is all just one piece of plastic. And other than moving the arm, you really can't do much with it. And it does not stand. And that's pretty much everything, I'm just going to quickly put this back. Now for a size comparison, this is about 3.5 inches wide and 5 inches tall. It's not particularly big, but it is humongous next to a normal LEGO person. For all the LEGO collectors, you might be able to do a cool diorama with this figure, and even better with the larger version. Overall, this is a pretty interesting and eye-catching collectible. At the price point of $30, I think it's okay. I wish they could have made the various organs inside in separate pieces to give it more play value, but if that's what you're looking for, then you can always pick up the larger version. This one has been out for a while, but you can still pick it up on Amazon and the MoMA Design Store. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews of collectibles and home decorations to come. 
Thank you again for watching and see you next time at the Desktop Museum.